Hi guys, um, welcome to my next project, the masking tape shoes. I'm going to kind of go over what I've done so far. Um, they're not done yet, but the only thing we're allowed to use for this project is masking tape. And we can't mold it like over the shoe that we have. We have to do it like all from scratch. So, um, this is kind of step number one. You can't really see it, but I traced the sole of the shoe um, and I just like made a bunch of tape and then I traced the sole of the shoe to get the main shape. And then I'm lucky enough that my shoe itself, this side right here is exactly the width of one of my rolls of masking tape. So I just ran strips of that like all around the side of this shoe so that um, it's the right width. And then if you look at my pictures, you can see that inside here to give this thing like dimension are just balls of masking tape, just like balled up, shoved in there, stuck all together, and then I put strips over the top. This looks really imperfect and rough right now, but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna cover it anyway. For this toe, you can look at my pictures and see this sort of quasi-triangular like wad I made to give this like the strength that you would find here in the plastic of the real shoe and covered it over with some more tape. Um, to kind of get this, there's a technical term my professor used, I don't know what it's called, this up curve space thing. Um, I just put a piece of tape on this side and kind of like held, sorry, I'm at home, my mom's cooking, sorry for the background noise. Um, and I was face painting today, if you can't tell. Um, I what was I saying, kind of put these pieces of tape here, pulled up on the shoe, and while I was pulling up on this part, taped it on the other side to kind of cause it to pull back. So that's kind of the base. Um, the next step is I traced, where's my patterns? I laid my shoe down and I traced these, this side here, these areas, onto pieces of tape. It's kind of like making fabric. 